what is true emptiness <laughs> this is true emptiness what do you see me across and if you think i am rakum i am baba ji i am swami ji i am guru ji then you are not truthful in seeing because you are clouded with borrowed knowledge <laughs> such people are more dangerous because you are worse than a terrorist a brainwashed terrorist all educated people are brainwashed terrorist to become an empty is the greatest truth and that truth comes from karma yoga you keep doing your work and you are enjoying the work and in that enjoyment you see your cup is always cleaned and you always get fresh water otherwise you can ask any people who is in the kitchen especially your mommy she knows especially in india i don't know about other countries the milk boiling vessel should be take a not a drop of dirt hence they brought out a stainless steel vessels stainless not a dirt is there if there is a smallest dirt in the vessel the milk can be spoiled my children and my cooks every time tell clean agi wash madile clean agi wash clean i so what is it clean is it's clean but it's not thorough cleaning yes thorough cleaning the smallest dirt can spoil the milk yes a smallest dirt in the vessel can spoil lalu prasad yadav the former chief minister of bihar which i call him the zen master he quoted when he made the first profit in the indian railways when they were wanted to privatize and sell it out many people from around the world came in from me what technology he used it and he said nothing i have hf cows american cows and they are huge and healthy and milking if i leave one drop i have to remove the last drop of milk from the udder of the chef cow we leave one drop the cow fall sick and i lose the profit we remove the last drop of milk the cow is healthy and i make the profit this is real emptiness empty it every day in your body and then you don't have to visit the doctor you don't have to run up to money because in the empty vessel of yours love pours into your heart you you will have multiple interpretations of multiple varieties of love letters just falling into your heart when you keep your heart neat and clean you keep your brain neat and clean without the borrowed knowledge the whole world jnana is with you that is where you're calling jnana yogi you are called raja yogi because everywhere you go you make sure your physical energy is used to sweat the last drop to pedicure and manicure the area you see the emptiness and truth follows you can see the area so beautiful wherever you go that is the real karma yoga and wherever you go you make sure it is bhakti yoga not pessimist only optimist words flows from your mouth it is like a song hence they say whatever comes out from the mouth of the wife is gospel or truth whatever comes out from the mouth of the husband is gospel the husband and wife both understand father and mother understand house is empty in that emptiness children's love only fills up children understands the love that is true emptiness flower shower this is the 36th Zen story from the Zen flesh, Zen bones written by Paul Rives. Flower shower. Subodhi was Buddha's disciple. He was able to understand the potency of emptiness, the viewpoint. 
that nothing exists except in its relationship of subjectivity and objectivity. One day Shubhuti in a mood of sublime emptiness was sitting under a tree. Flowers began to fall about him. We are praising you for your discourse on emptiness. The gods whispered to him, but I have not spoken of emptiness, says Shubhuti. You have not spoken of emptiness. We have not heard emptiness, responded the gods. This is the true emptiness and blossom showered upon Shubhuti as rain. Yes. Once you understand that whatever your physical body and your mental body and your spiritual body is cleansed, emptied it up every day with a bath, you go anywhere, God's shower, blessings, flowers, yes, falls into you. And God tells, we are praising you for your emptiness, yes, which no teachers will tell, we are praising you for your emptiness. You, they wanted you to be filled up with borrowed knowledge and they give you homework to fill it up. And if you don't come back and answer it like a parrot, then you are punished, your parents are caught. If you leave the school, when you go out in the street, policemen are kept by the politicians, by the emperors, by the rulers, to make sure that you always carry your borrowed knowledge. If you don't speak through the borrowed knowledge, then you will be jailed. You go to the factory, it's the same everywhere. You are respected for your stupidity, not for your emptiness. Because you know, in the emptiness, you find the truth. In the emptiness, you find God. In the emptiness, you become a magnet. The whole world gets attracted to you. Hence, when Buddha was walking, Krishna was walking, Jesus was walking, hundreds of thousands of people just followed when Mahatma Gandhi was walking. Because they have become empty without the Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra. They become empty without the upper caste and the lower caste, the rich and the poor, the black and the white. It is just anybody is beautiful. It's a joke. During the pandemic, I saw an old lady in the supermarket searching for toilet rolls on the empty shelves. I almost broke down thinking about the horrific nature of humanity. I reached deep into my pocket and there I found a toilet roll. Then I wiped away my tears and walked off. <laughs> This is the truth of the rulers, the truth of the employers, the truth of the institutions which have appointed teachers. They will never give you the toilet roll. They have a toilet roll, they feel sorry for you. They wipe to wipe out the tears. Everybody wipe out the tears, but nobody is giving a helping hand. If everybody has given a helping hand, we could have constructed a school. 39 years and 25 years of running Rishi Rakum School, we are still in, in a rented place. And what little place we have, that place is in asbestos sheet and in grass, kasi grass they call it. We wanted to give them a little standard classrooms so that they can run around and feel better. But everybody is coming and taking the toilet roll and wiping it out. Oh, Rakum Guruji, Swamiji, you are doing wonderful job. But our toilet roll is for us to wipe our tears. We feel sorry for you. But nobody has got the money. Yes. Even in Indranagar, even including my political leaders who are taking the toilet roll and wiping the tears, 
they go and provoke my residence association to throw me out <laughs> provoke by throwing me out by making me shut down they already shut down one of my school in arga with this layout <laughs> i think it has become a habit a drug addict for them just throwing what do they get nothing but just creating trouble for people so that rakum guruji will come and beg us they love people begging them and in that begging even they are unable to do anything but just troubling their vessel should be always filled with dirty things and that reflects that yellow fever when you have yellow fever you see everything yellow i am not feeling sorry about it but we have to work hard to find out how we can have cleanliness next to godliness if everybody has got that when we have a healthy mind and healthy body it takes time i alone roar like a thousand men warrior but my people surrounding me taking time because the huge amount of people are brainwashing them to not to roar like a thousand men not allowing them to roar like a thousand men warrior you roar like a thousand men warrior the whole body blasts yes cleanses it and what you see next is a beautiful smile a body like a soft pancake but you are the most powerful object this is true emptiness